Alright, so, <clears throat> I thought I would do a video tonight, um, on MAC Foundation. Okay, um, let me first say, excuse the way I look, I just got out of the shower. Um, I have no makeup on, it's 11.30 at night, so I'm trying to pump out two videos, um, that I've been wanting to do for a little bit, but, um, I thought this one would be pretty good because I've never worn MAC before, I never purchased it before, um, and I thought maybe for people who have never used it, or maybe are thinking about using it and are a little bit um, weary, does it really work, how much does it cost, because it's not really cheap. Um, it's not super expensive, but it's not really cheap. So, um, let me first start off by saying, I went to, you can get it at... Uh, this MAC foundation, I, I went to Nordstrom. Um, I've never been in Nordstrom before, but I went into Nordstrom and I purchased the MAC Pro Long Wear Foundation. Okay. And you can get it at the MAC store. I think there's other places on Macy's or something. I'm not really sure. Um, let me first start by saying that this cost, I'll show you what it looks like first. This is how much you get. Okay, and it is a 30 or one ounce bottle, okay, $31, okay, so for some of you, yes, that is pricey, um, for some of you, it's not, but um, once I show you how it works, how you put it on, stuff like that, you'll realize $31 might be okay. Um, so I am used to using this, Rimmel London's Lasting Finish, okay. I have used this for a long time. I actually was using Bare Minerals in 2012 when I was pregnant with my son. And it worked really well, but I just didn't want to keep dishing out um, 60 bucks for it. And I kind of missed putting on the foundation first. It, with Bare Minerals, it was just powder. So, um, so I used this, and this is supposed to be non-trans meaning it won't transfer off your skin, it stays on for 16 hours through sweat and everything else, oil free, not the case. Um, I pay probably $9 for this, $8, I don't know, I'm not really sure, I just usually just grab it. Um, it has lasted me a while, but I get very oily in my T-zone and I'm constantly having to reapply this and reapply this and reapply this and it looks kind of cakey and you know. But I kind of deal with it because I usually just put a powder over top to tr bronzer or something and make it decent. But um, I went to a friend's house and she had the MAC concealer, not the foundation, the smaller bottle which is concealer for under your eyes and she uses it as a foundation. And it actually looked pretty good. Um, I have a lot of acne scars so I'm going to show you. I have no makeup on right now. A lot of... Um, uneven skin tone and acne and you know circles and whatever yeah, yeah so I just know this is like a common problem with me so um and this tends to cover really well now I wore it today for the first full day I had a different color on a different shade the lady at the um mac counter or whatever Put it on and put it over top of makeup that I had on. So I would recommend that when you do try to find out what color you are, remove your makeup before putting the color on. Um, and I thought it was darker than what it was, and it wasn't. And the color that I got was a little light. And I wanted something with a slight tint, only because I wanted to minimize how much bronzer I had to put on. Um, plus, I've been tanning a little bit, and if I tan a little bit more, I don't want my face to look lighter than the rest of me. So. Um, let me start by saying that this is my color. Mine is NW25, which N is natural, warm. 25 is the shade. <clears throat> I had NC earlier, which is a cooler tone, but I want more of a warm tone. So I'm going to apply it on right now, show you how simple it really is to apply. You do not need much but a couple dabs. A little goes a long way, so maybe that's why they say... $31 is not bad because this can last you for a long time. So, first I'm going to use um, a foundation primer, Prime Time, 
that I got when I had Bare Minerals. It just kind of degreasifies my face and I've already um, used a apricot scrub on my face in the shower for my blemishes. So I just kind of spread it all around. And all you need is just a little dab of this and I mostly just put it all over but I tend to go over my T-zone a little bit more and it kind of dries that area out. This is only to, to make the makeup look a little more smoother. Now, I've seen people apply this foundation with a brush um, like this. I'm not doing that. This is my bare, bare mineral brush anyway. Um, so I'm going to use my sponge. I prefer my sponge. It gives me better coverage. Uh, people tend to use the brush. It gives you an airbrushed look. I can still kind of achieve the same thing. So they say the easiest thing to do is to put it on your hand. Okay, see, so I just put a little dot. I'm gonna use this here just to to see if I have no mirror. I tend to apply my mascara in a circular motion just for me personally. It's just the way I like to do it. And then when I get to the edges, I get as close as possible to all my crevices. <laughs> it's really hard to tell. If I'm getting it pretty good with this, um, the iPad. <laughs> Now because it is a shade darker than my actual tone, I do tend to bring my line down a little just to help blend it in and when I put bronzer on I cover this so you don't see a line. Now, I know it looks like I'm putting on a lot but every time I go to my sponge I'm only going to show you, I'm only putting, sorry. Sorry, that much, okay. This should be enough to last you, I would guess about two months. to get some of my acne spots. I'm very weird. I do my ears too because I have short hair. So I don't want my ears to be a different color. Now I'm going to do under my eyes just a little bit more. you let it sit for a minute to dry, it kind of sets. And then once you're done, you can rub your hand over it or whatever and it won't wipe off or anything like that. So, try to So 
this is kind of how it looks. It's kind of hard to tell in this in in here, but it, um, as I can tell, I at least look like I have an even tone, a little less blemishes. Now they do have different kinds from what I hear. There's a um, photo effects or color effects or something. It's better for when you have pictures so it doesn't bounce off or something. I don't know. Um, so it's supposed to last up to 15 hours through sweat and everything else. And um, I did have mine on. I put mine on this morning at 8 o'clock. I had to go to my sister's um, soccer game. So I put it on at 8. Um, I did not reapply at all. The only thing that looked kind of iffy-ish was my mascara and my eyeliner because somewhere around 6 o'clock tonight or something I laid down, um, I had a headache and I slept and it got kind of like smeared and stuff like that but besides that my face still had great color. Um, it was still covered really well. It hadn't came off and at that point I think that was already almost 12 hours. Um, and I just washed it off my face probably 30 minutes ago, so at 11 o'clock. So you're looking at 12, 16 hours. So it actually lasts like it says it's supposed to. If you're out clubbing or working out or whatever, it won't wash off. Um, I particularly am happy with the product. Um, the only thing is, yes, it does kind of cost a lot. And I would like to get other products, but I have to buy them in, you know, spread out because of how much it costs. So I can't see myself going there and buying this, the concealer, bronzer, some eyeshadow, and whatever, because it's just, it's too much. Um, this is like 31, the concealer is like a little tiny bottle, that's 18. And then um, a friend of mine gave me her blush, which I really don't use this from MAC and this is like I think 18 as well or something like that um so I'm looking forward to going back and getting some more different products um to go with this and um hopefully this lasting a while and the coverage being really good for me um as I'm looking at it now in this light and sitting here don't mind my hair my face actually looks pretty pretty good um it looks all one color at least. Well, to me, it looks pretty good. I mean, I do have some bumps, but they're covered up pretty good. So, um, it's, it's completely up to you on what you feel. Um, I like it. It's not cakey um, or anything like that. So, it's, it's up to what you feel is best. If you feel another brand, maybe you wear this kind like I was and it actually works better for you, then, hey, um, save some money. But it's up to you on how you really like it and how it feels. And you probably won't get a good judgment for it until you actually have worn it. Um, the best thing to do is maybe go to either MAC or to Nordstrom where they sell it. And ask somebody to put some on your face as like, you know, to see. So you can see for yourself in the mirror the difference of how it looks or how it feels or whatever it is. Um, like I said, this is the color I'm wearing is NW25. <laughs> Um, it's a warm tone. They have cool tones, too. Um, and it was $31 for the Pro Longwear, and this is the one that is supposed to last the longest. Um, they also have, MAC has, like, something like Bare Minerals as well, if you prefer that, so. Um, and that's it on this, basically. So, if you are willing to, you know, stick around for a little bit, um, I'm going to do another video after this on what I found at Goodwill, um, Plato's Closet, and some other little things that I felt I wanted to discuss because I was excited about what I found. Um, so stay tuned for that video. It should be on the sidebar. Um, be sure to subscribe, leave any comments, anything like that. Like me on Instagram under MissBlueEyes85. I'm on Tumblr under Miss Blue Eyes 85 Of course, on Facebook under Natalie Barnes. Um, just send me a request. Follow me on any of those, and I'll follow back.